Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and today I've got a kind of a unique video there for you today. Uh, we are actually going to be going through the 3DS guide on how to put custom firmware and uh, Luma 3DS onto your system. Now, luckily today I actually went out and uh, I was able to acquire two of these bad boys. So today we are actually gonna go through the process of putting custom firmware onto them. Now if you guys do not know what custom firmware is, custom firmware allows you to uh, install things like uh, games, uh, apps, custom themes, and uh, to be able to wirelessly stream from your 3DS or 2DS console. Uh, so we're gonna go through the guide here. Now I have done a previous guide um, to this. I just did a, an hour and a half recording and uh, realized my GoPro microphone was actually on and it kind of looped. So I'm gonna tell you that I did go through some of the processes just to be able to change uh, my uh, Ace Card 2i over to be an NTR boot uh, flasher. So just a heads up, I did do this process. Uh, so let's go through to the guide here. So as you guys can see, we do have my GoPro here up in front of me and we've got the magnificent Pokeball uh, 2DS. So we've got that. That's what we're going to be doing that on there today. Um, we are going to go into the guide. So as you guys can see here, we've got the 2DS up in front of us. We've also got the guide here. Uh, and we will also have a Windows Explorer window uh, show up as well when we need to actually use it. So I'm going to just keep that down here for the time being. All right, actually. There we go, we got all three on the screen, perfect. So I did do a complete raw recording there prior to this and uh, let's just say it didn't go so well. So I'm very, very glad that I had a secondary console to be able to show that with you. Uh, so you guys will want to have an Ace Card 2i and you will also want to have a, uh, a magnet. Now it is needed for it of course because essentially the guide gets you to force the console into like a sleep mode or a sleep state. So please keep that in mind. You do need, do need those items. The Ace card uh, will cost you about roughly 20 bucks. Not bad. So this is the guide here. 3ds.guide is the website. We're gonna go in and get started. Uh, now the first step here is uh, you're gonna wanna go through and do all of the reading because if you guys do not have the reading uh, done, um, it's gonna be a bit of a problem for you because you need to know this stuff. I'm not gonna go through it because I've already gone through it, but uh, First thing you want to do is you want to go down to the device table. Now this is where you can actually select your specific device. They've got it all the way from the old 3DS, old 3DS XL, old 2DS, and then the new 3DS, new 3DS XL, and the new 2DS XL. So we are using a new 2DS XL. We're going to click onto it here. And we need to actually go down to select our version. Now to find out what version your firmware is on your console, you're going to want to go into the system settings. So let's go to system settings here. We're going to open it up. And right down here in the bottom corner, it is 11.5.0 hyphen 38. Now that's all you need to know. You just need to know what the actual software version is. So if we look at 11.5 here on the chart, okay, it says here, use all version method. And here we go, all versions. So we're gonna go to NTR boot. Okay, so that's what we are going to select. So right now I actually already have um, a flashed NTR boot onto my flash card. So this step I've already done. So what you need to do is you need to have a flash card. So an ACE card, 2i. Okay, make sure you back up everything you have on your SD card first, because it's essentially just gonna get blown away and deleted. Um, so you need to make sure that you have your ACE card files onto the, uh, onto the flash card, onto your SD card, and you need to make sure that it can launch .nds files. Now, if you are using a counterfeit, you do have a chance of breaking your flash card. So if you do have a counterfeit, um, use this at your own risk. So this is an ACE card 2 guys, uh, ACE card 2i guys, if you guys haven't seen an ACE card 2i. This is from back in the Nintendo DS Fat, DS Lite, and DSi, and DSi XL era. Uh, they can be acquired online for about roughly $20, okay? Make sure you have one of those because you will require it. So it actually gets you to go through and flash your NTR boot. So we're doing a single system. 
So this process is for the flashcard. I can't do this for you. But as you can see here, it literally gets you to copy one file to the DSi and you need to put it onto a previous console, so like a DSi console or another uh, 3DS that's capable of loading your flashcard. And essentially you're just going to inject the NTR boot hacks to the, con to the, to the card. Not a big deal. So we are gonna move on. That's assuming that you've already done this process with your ACE card uh, or other flash card. So this is the part where we need to continue on. So the first thing we need to do is download the Safe 9 installer, uh, sorry, Safe B9 installer. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna get that zip file. So that's downloading. We're gonna, install, we're gonna download the boot 9 strap file as well. So we're not gonna get the dev kit nor the NTR file. So we are gonna get the bootstrap uh, 1.3. So that's downloading there now. So we can close these files. And we also need to get the Luma 3DS uh, 7-zip downloaded. And then we also need the starter kit from Homebrew. Okay, so we've got the Homebrew file uh, downloaded as well. So we need to do a little bit of prep work. So the first thing we gotta do is turn off our Nintendo uh, 2DS or 3DS, if you guys are doing that. And we need to get the SD card from the actual console. And this is where you're also going to require a, um, you know, uh, memory card reader. So once you have the memory card reader, just make sure you follow the instructions. Pop the SD card in, pop it into your computer, and over on your computer, we are going to go to the root of your SD card. Now it says here that we need to copy the safe B9 installer that firm. Uh, to the boot.firm. Oh, sorry, we need to rename it to boot.firm and it's going to be on the root of our SD card. So we open up the zip file, we go find the boot, sorry, safe B9S installer.firm and we put it onto our SD card. Okay, so we're going to rename this to boot.firm. Okay. We're going to copy the contents of the starter.zip to the SD card. So that's what we're doing there now. We're just copying it over. Uh, create a folder called boot9strap. Okay, so folder. Whoop. Boot9strap. And we're going to copy the boot9strap.firm and boot9strap.firm SHA to that folder, so to the boot 9 strap folder. So you guys can see here I'm doing that in the video. Go to boot 9 strap, we've got the files there. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to reinsert the SD card uh, into my 3DS. So you guys are gonna see that the Windows Explorer disappears quite often. Don't worry about that. Okay, oh, and we also need to put my ACE card in as well. You need to have the ACE card in there guys or it's not gonna work. So we need to power on my 3DS. And this is where you're going to need the magnet. Okay, so here we go, we got it turned on. If we go over here, we can see that my ACE card is actually connected, which normally it doesn't show that specific icon, but whatever. Um, so it says here, use the magnet to find the spot on your device where the sleep sensor is triggered. Okay, so that is roughly where the sleep sensor is. And it says to power off your device. If you're using a regular old 2DS, um, you just basically put the sleep switch on. So now it says to power off the device. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to hold the power button. And we're going to power off the console. And it could take a few moments for it to actually power off. And it's very possible I may not be pressing the power, but there we go. So power lights are off. I do have it connected to my AC adapter right now, which is good. So now what we need to do is we need to hold start, select, X, and power. So it's very awkward to hold. So start, select, X, and power. And we let it go. 
And right now, as you can see, we are loaded into the um, Safe B9S installer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we go down to step number five here. Step number five um, tells us um, that we should be booted into the screen, so that's good. So section three, installing boot nine strap, it says to wait for all of the safety checks to be complete. So right now, if you look at your bottom screen, okay, you will see here that all the safety checks have been completed. Okay. Now, what we need to do, we need to input the key combo. So as you can see, we need to press left, down, right, up, and A. And this is actually going to go through and uh, back up the files. Um, uh, yeah, we did that. Once it's complete, force your device to power off by holding down the power button. So we hit A. So SIG hacks has been installed. And it says to press the power button. So we're going to hold this down, power it off. It'll take a few moments there for it to power off. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to get the SD card back. Okay, so let's get the SD card. Now, I would probably recommend to do this with a 2DS XL, just because it's so easy to get your SD card out. Uh, if you have a 3DS XL, then one of the new ones, you actually have to take the back plate off. All right, so now what we need to do, we've got the SD card back in the computer. We want to delete boot.firm. So there we go. And we want to open up the Luma zip file and copy boot.firm to the root of the SD card, which we just did. And uh, we're going to reinsert the SD card into my system. So here we go, popping it back in. Now the, SD, uh, the ACE card, it doesn't say to take it out but it doesn't also say to leave it in, so I don't think it really matters right now. So as you can see, we've actually just put the boot.firm on, um, and we're actually booting automatically to Luma 3DS. That simple. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go to where it says show NAN or user string in system settings. So we want to turn this on and hit the start button in order to save it. And what that'll do is that'll actually reboot the console. So now we need to go to where it says continue to finalizing setup. If you guys uh, did go through the process for your ACE cards, if you go through the bottom process, uh, you can actually change your ACE card back to an actual ACE card 2i where you can play your games on it. I'm gonna go through that process here actually in this guide. Oh, I should probably take the magnet off. All right, so we're booted up into the Nintendo 2DS. Um, we are going to go to finalizing the setup. So in this process here, we actually have to download some files. So we have to download some CIA files. So the first one was the uh, .cia of Animon. I don't know what that is. Checkpoint, we also need to download this as well, so we need to get the CIA. The Homebrew Launcher Loader, uh, we are going to get that zip file downloaded. God Mode 9, we want to download the zip file for this as well. Uh, DSP1, download the CIA for that. The FBI, we want to get the 3DSX and the CIA. Uh, so we're going to download those two. Luma 3DS Updater, we want to get the CIA for this, I'm assuming. Yeah. And then we download these two files that are here as well. So there's a bit of prep work here we have to do first. First thing we have to do is we actually have to turn off the 2DS. Okay. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take out the ACE card because at this point it is not required. So let's get this out of there. And then we're also going to take out our SD card. So 
we're gonna pop this back into the computer here because we have to put some files to it. So let's do that. So SD card is in the computer and we're opening up our Windows Explorer, going to our USB drive. All right, so this is our root of our SD card here that we have in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, so the first thing it tells us to do, now I'm gonna have to open up my downloads screen. All right, so here we go, we got our, all our downloads. As you can see, I did this before, I had to delete all my files, so that's cool. Um, copy fbi.3dsx to the 3ds folder. So we're gonna open up our 3ds folder. We're going to drop fbi3dsx to it. As you can see, it's there now. Uh, create a folder on the computer, or not the computer, sorry, the uh, SD card. We're gonna call it CIAs. So CIAS, C is, we're gonna open this. We're gonna copy over the homebrew, sorry, the homebrew launcher loader, CIA, the Luma updater, FBI, DSP1, Anemon, CIA, and checkpoint. Luma updater, FBI, DSP1, homebrew launcher, and checkpoint and Enemon 3DS. Refresh. So if we look at the actual screen, we should have Enemon, checkpoint, DSP1, FBI, homebrew launcher, and Luma updater. The next thing we want to do is go back to the root of the SD, go into the Luma folder, and create a payloads folder. So payloads. Okay. The next thing is, is in the God Mode 9 folder, we want to copy over God Mode 9.firm. Okay, so God Mode 9.firm to the payloads folder, which is done. And uh, delete NTR boot flasher.firm from the payloads folder if it exists, which in our case, it does not exist for us. So there's no NTR boot flasher in the payloads folder. The next thing we want to do is go back to the root of our SD card and we want to open up the God Mode 9 zip and copy GM9 to the root of the SD card. The next thing is we want to copy over the CTR NAND and the cleanup.gm9 files to the scripts folder. So those are the last two files that we downloaded. Whoop. Clean up and set up. So that's it. So we've got those files there. So now what we want to do is we want to take the SD card and we are going to pop that back into the Nintendo 2DS. There we go. And we're going to turn on the 2DS. Now, the first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to update our 3DS to the latest, um, the latest software version. So we need to go into our system settings, go to other settings, and go all the way over to system update. We're going to hit OK and accept. And that's going to start the process to do the actual update. Now I have some really fast internet here guys, so this will not take very long. I'm just gonna let that do that download there real quick. The only time where it actually takes an incredibly long time is nearing the end of the video because we're backing up our actual um, firmware. So we'll just give this a second. It is almost done. And hit okay for it to reboot. All right, so 2DS is back up. First thing it wants us to do is open the download and play, which is what we're gonna do here. And it does tell us to hold down left, down on your D-pad and select. So we did that. Now you can see the bottom screen has changed. Now this is where I'm gonna 
move this slightly upwards here. So the first thing we want to do is on the bottom screen it says select miscellaneous options. So we do that and it says select switch the HB title to the current app. So we're actually changing our current app, so the download and play, we're switching that over to Homebrew, which is what we're doing. That has been completed. Uh, press B to continue. Press B to return to the Rosalina menu. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit our home button. Now, uh, let's see here. Home button. Oh, press B to exit, sorry, and then home. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to close the download and play, and we're going to relaunch it. And what that's going to do is that's going to launch Homebrew. All right, so Homebrew right now is currently open, and what we want to do is we want to go down to where it says FBI. So we're going to launch FBI. Now this is actually going to put some specific icons and apps onto the home screen of your 3DS. So we're going to go to SD and the C is folder that we just did. We're going to click onto current directory and select install and delete all CIAs. So this is actually going to install all of those CIA files that are on the um, C is folder. So you can see it's installing all of these important files. Hit A, and we are going to back out of this. So we are back to the homebrew screen. And then what we're going to do, uh, we are going to hit, let's see here, hit the home menu. And as you can see, they're all now onto the home screen of your 3DS. So we're going to unwrap each and every one of them here. So we got Homebrew and the Luma Updater. We've just got FBI, DSP1. We've got the Save Manager and Unwrap. Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, we want to turn off our 2DS or 3DS. And it says that when we go to turn it on, we want to hold the Start button. So we're holding Start, and as you can see, it's now got God Mode 9. So we want to hit the A button, and it says if you are prompted to create the essential file backup, press A to do so, which we are. So we're hitting A and A. Uh, we got to set the date and time. So it is 2017. It is November, and it is the 6th. Now let's see here. That's three, four, five, six, so 18, 32 is the time. And we are going to hit the A button to continue. Okay, so now we want to hit the home button. We want to go to scripts. And we are going to go down to where it says set up CTR NAND. Press A and A and A. We are going to unlock it again. And that is successful. And we are going to lock it again. And we are going to go back up our SysNAND. So we're going to press the home menu, go to scripts. And we are going to select back up SysNand. We're going to hit A. And this is going to take you a few moments to do. Uh, the last time that I did this, it was about maybe about six minutes roughly. It says it's going to take like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do. Don't even worry about that, guys. It, it's not going to take that long. Uh, right now it's going down. It's about 11 minutes. So while we're doing that, I'm going to go through and just kind of talk about my Discord server. So if you guys know, I do have Discord uh, on my system, and I have a Discord uh, server called Snowpoint Temple. Now, Snowpoint Temple is an online Pokemon battling community, uh, basically where you can find all things Pokemon. Now, 
what we are currently doing is we've actually created our own tier system or our own battle format. It's actually called Angel Cup. Now, Angel Cup uses every Pokemon that's in the uh, national decks, but we do have a few bands, of course, such as like Black Curum, White Curum, um, Mewtwo, things like that. Those are banned, um, but our system is based on a points system. Now, every Pokemon is worth a certain amount of points. So we have a one-pointer, two-pointer, three-pointer, and four-pointers. Now, four-pointers are usually reserved for things such as like Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, um, you know, things like that. Um, but essentially, it, it, it's to a point where the battling system is set up where you can only use 12 battle points. So your team has to be under 12 battle points. So the idea is, is that you would use things such as like Charizard, which is a three-pointer. Uh, you could use uh, another three-pointer, which would be Blastoise. You could use Blastoise. So those are six points right there. And then you have six points left. So the idea of Angel Cup is to get you to a battle format that's similar to the anime, but not quite as crazy as the anime. You know what I mean? So things such as like Stoutland, uh, Abra, um, things like that. It's, it's a way to not be using the most overpowered pokes all the time and to be able to kind of understand what the other Pokemon in the Pokedex can do. So that's what we have currently on the go right now is we've got the Angel Cup list and battle format already set up. Uh, it's been tested. It's actually fantastic to use. Uh, very different than OU and RU and PU and UU and all that stuff from Smogun. So if you guys haven't tried Angel Cup, pop on over to my Discord server. The link will be in the description below. And just give it a try. We'll, we'll do Angel Cup battles on um, Showdown. We'll also do it on the 3DS as well. Um, but uh, the league is all on 3DS. Now currently right now we're looking for gym leaders and Elite Four members. Uh, we are looking to get at least 12 people tested. Uh, so that way what we can do is we can have eventually 8 gym leaders and 12 Elite Four members. Once we have all 12, we're going to pit them in a tournament where all 12 people are against each other and then the top four are going to be the newest uh, Elite Four members. Uh, so be sure to pop on over, get some battles in, and uh, you know just enjoy yourself. Uh, everything Pokemon related is over here. Uh, we talk about the anime, we're talking about the movies, we're talking about Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon which are coming out here in uh, less than 11 days. I'm pretty pumped up and excited about that. I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battles as well as Let's Plays. So we're going to do that. And then as well, eventually, I'm going to be doing some shiny hunting on stream uh, for you guys to be able to enjoy that as well. So, you know, all of the information for my streams can be found all on my Discord server and uh, also on my Twitter uh, my YouTube channel. If you guys are watching this here right now and you guys are finding this guide very helpful, be sure to press that like button and be sure to subscribe. That way you guys can always know when my videos go live and I also plan to bring you guys more tutorials in the future. So right now we are about three minutes away from this actually being finished up for this specific process bar. Um, yeah, so eventually in the future, I'm going to show you guys how to do NTR um, streaming. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to stream your consoles wirelessly, uh, as well as I'm going to show you guys how to get some PK hex going and uh, also some other tutorials as well, just kind of on homebrew uh, on some of the different emulators. We're going to inject some games into the console. We're going to do a lot of different things here. Uh, please keep in mind uh, that this tutorial is strictly just for uh, putting Luma 3DS, uh, Rosalina, and custom firmware onto your console. So we are two minutes away now, which is fantastic. I know that there's a lot of people right now in my uh, in my uh, Discord server right now that's really wanting to wanting to battle um, me right now. I've kind of promised to do some showdown with them. Um, just give me one second. I'm gonna respond. All right, so <laughs> everybody's been wanting me to play games today, which is fantastic. We've got less than two minutes left there. 
So yeah, basically the only things that you really require for this tutorial is an ace card 2i, a micro SD reader or an SD card reader, and your magnet. Once you have that, you are golden guys. This tutorial is actually going a lot quicker than it was prior, um, just because I was doing it for the first time prior. So, But yeah, here we go, the ace card 2i. We're gonna put the ace card back to its original uh, process or its original means. Um, just because I want to be able to play my DS games on it again, right? So, <laughs> I apologize that I couldn't have shown you guys the original part to making this an NTR boot flashcard, but when I started the original tutorial, like I said, it went quite well. However, there was a really bad echo in my recording, and that's because right now I'm using a GoPro, which you guys can see here on the top screen, or right here. Uh, so the GoPro is literally right in front of me, and uh, I'm using my DSLR as my webcam right now, as you guys can tell, so. <laughs> Anyways, I was really hoping that uh, I'd be able to get everything all in one video, but seeing as how to make the flashcard the NTR boot, it was literally dragging and dropping one file to the flashcard. That's it. But I think the way to restore the flashcard is a little different. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get it back to its original process. Luckily, I had a 64 gig flashcard, uh, not flashcard, 64 gig SD card um, with all of my games on it for my uh, ace card on here so luckily we didn't cause any harm to that we just have to get the uh, ace card back to being able to be used as a flash card for games <laughs> all right are we almost done here we are finished so what it says here to do um, we've confirmed it we press a and then what we are going to do A, and then we got to eject the SD card. So we're going to hold R and B, and that's where we can actually remove the um, micro SD card again. So we're going to pop this back into our computer here. Uh, so let's do that. All right. And we're going to go to the SD card. So what it tells us to do is we're going to go to the GM9 and the out, and we're going to copy this file, this sysnan.bin file, back or over to your computer, actually. So this is two different files here. Now that I think about it, I should probably make a folder for this. So I'm going to make a folder here. Um, because I have two of these files on my desktop and I don't want to cause a problem here. Basically you want to back up this file so that way you don't lose it. Uh, if you ever need to restore your firmware back to its original state, uh, you need this file. <laughs> if you don't have this file, um, you could literally run into problems with bricking and you guys really don't want that, right? So make sure you back up the file. Back it up to cloud storage if you have it like Dropbox or Google Drive. That way you guys always have it. So we're just waiting for this to back up here. And essentially what it wants us to do is it wants us to delete this file. Once we've backed it up, we want to delete it because we don't need it on the, on the SD card anymore. Now mind you, I probably want to keep it on there, but the guide says to delete it. Back it up for a safe place. Just give it a few more moments there. It's got five seconds. All right, so now we've got to delete that file off of our console. And then we're going to insert the SD card back into our 3DS, or 2DS in this case. So as you can see here, we're gonna pop it in. Boom. We're gonna press um, RB to remount the SD card. And then it wants us to press the home button, go to scripts, 
and clean up SD card. This will clean the final setup files from your SD card. Continue, yes. So right now it's actually cleaning up the SD card. We're gonna hit OK and it wants us to press start to reboot. So this is gonna reboot our uh, 3DS or 2DS back into the operating system that is the 3DS environment. And uh, as you can see, we've got the Luma updater. We've still got Homebrew, FBI, which is fantastic. I don't know why DSP1 is still here. Did I miss a step? I don't think I did. I might have. I didn't see the option there for DSP1. I have no idea what DSP1 is for. Interesting. Hmm. I'm just going to take a moment just to review here just to make sure I didn't goof up, but I seem to recall doing that in one of the previous ones. Yes, we installed DSP1. We did the update, did the application, did CIAs. Oh, it does say launch DSP1 application. Once it has completed, press B. Interesting. How did I miss that one little step? It doesn't look like it actually caused any harm here, but. No more action required, okay. Press B, delete the app, and exit. Okay, so just make sure that you do that, guys. Um, that one little step I missed there. It didn't cause any harm to it. So just to show you guys, we do have Luma on here. Let's go to our system settings. And if we take a look here, up here in the top corner, it says Sys 11.6.0. That is the Luma firmware, the Luma Rosalina firmware. So right now we do have custom firmware on our console, which is fantastic. You are able to do full updates to the console as well, so you should have no issues there. And uh, if we go to the Luma updater, new consoles, right? They're finding my other consoles online. If we take a look here, our Luma updater is 2.2. So if we actually take a look here, we are on SigHax, Luma Updater is version 2.2. And uh, if we actually look here as well, I don't know if we can actually get in to see this. Uh, it says here that the current installed version is 8.1.1. The latest version is 8.1.1 as well. So anytime that there's an update for Luma, you just go into the Luma Updater and away you go. And it's very simple, it'll update your Luma to what's needed. And that is all guys. So right now you've got custom firmware on your 3DS. So I'm actually gonna go back a couple of steps here, back a couple pages, cause I'm gonna put my ACE card back to normal. And I'm really hoping that I can do that. Um, all right, so this is here. The following is an optional section that will allow you to restore your flash cart to its original state to allow it to be used for its standard functions. Note that the AceCard 2i retains the ability to launch NDS files uh, while having the NTR boot exploit installed. This only applies when the AceCard 2i is in a 3DS running some kind of custom firmware. While the NTR boot exploits its, is installed on the AceCard 2i, it will be unable to launch NDS files uh, on the stock NDS, NDSL, DSi, or 3DS system. Do not follow this section until you have completed the rest of the instructions on this page. Okay, so removing NTR boot, what you need. Okay, so we need the latest NTR boot flasher. NTR boot flasher, okay. Um, the flash ROM backup corresponds with your flash card. Note that if you followed flashing NTR boot uh, the flash ROM already exists in the correct location and does not need to be downloaded. Okay. If you do not know which hardware version you have, just try each for your cart of them. So it tells us to try both of them, essentially. 
Only the correct one will allow your flashcard to launch properly from home menu, but flashing the wrong one will brick will not brick the cart. Okay. So I believe I was ace card 2i81. So we're going to open this. Oh, I need it's a magnet link. Okay. It's going to probably take a minute. This is where I need my torrent program, I think. There we go. Okay, cancel. Open uTorrent, there we go. And essentially, I don't want to put it in my Walking Dead folder, so I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Uh, desktop, select. Okay. So that's downloading a zip file, which is perfect. So we're going to power off the device and insert your SD card into your computer. Now, is this actually asking me to do it on my... Now, is this asking it on the actual... I don't know if that's actually asking it for on the SD card of the flash card or onto the... Uh onto the 3DS. So just power off your device and insert your SD card to your computer. Create a folder named NTR boot on the root of your SD card. Okay. So I'm going to do it with my 3DS because that's the assumption that I have here. So let's create a folder on here called NTR boot. Folder and uh, NTR boot. Copy backup.bin from your flash rom backup.zip. Okay. Continue. Open. So we can close that. So the backup.bin goes into the NTR boot. Just one sec, guys. You're getting text messages. Be up in a minute. All right, so we've got that onto our NTR boot folder, and uh, it says here to create a folder named payloads in the Luma folder on your SD card. So this is on your 3DS, so I was correct. So payloads, um, root of your SD card, create a folder, payloads, then the Luma folder and copy NTR boot flasher dot firm to the payloads. Reinsert the SD card back into your device and insert your NTR boot compatible DS. Okay, so we're putting the ACE card back in to the console and we're taking the SD card and putting it back into our 3DS. So essentially, you didn't have to change any files on your uh, ACE card at this point. So that is fine. We're going to turn on. Launch NTR flasher by holding start during boot. Shit. OK. Do you need the most trusted battery yeah. this holiday? Maybe what not. What the heck is happening here? That's really weird. All right. Must have been an add on a website or something, or it might have been my uTorrent, who knows. All right, so we're gonna power it off, and we're gonna hold start during boot. All right, so there we go, we've got it up. So we've got the Luma 3DS chain loader, and um, read the red screen warning. There is no red screen warning. Select your flash cart. So NTR boot flasher, wait a minute, where are we here? Launch NTR boot flasher, okay, which we are. Warning, read this before continuing. If you don't know what you're doing, stop. Open your browser, go to 3DS guide, and follow the steps provided here. This software writes directly to your flash cart. It's possible you may brick your flash cart, rendering it unusable. Always keep a backup. All right, so that is the red screen that they're warning you about. Press A to continue and select your flash card. 
So we are using an ace card to I. So what's it say here? Press select your flash card. Okay, press A. And then it says to select restore flash, which we are. Wait until the process is completed. So it's showing a little progress bar on the bottom screen here, as you guys can see. So it's actually writing to it right now. Hopefully this will fix it up. Wait until the process is completed, obviously. It doesn't look like it takes very long either, which is fantastic. Chunks written too. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, you can see the little uh, camera here. You guys can see my GoPro. Pretty cool. All right, so we're just gonna wait for this to finish up. Now this is the only step process that you have to do in order to get your flashcard back to being able to be used on a DS, uh, DSi, or 3DS. This is going to allow you to play your games again. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the final step here for me anyway. Um, but as you can see, this process was very very simple. The lay the the steps are very well laid out, very easy to follow uh, if you read them. Of course, I missed that one step, but that's not a huge huge issue. Not a huge issue. I know I don't recall that before, but make sure you do it. Of course, make sure you follow all the steps. It's writing chunk six. Let's give it a few more moments there to finish up. Now you guys could probably skip ahead a little bit, but I don't know how long it actually takes to do this process. complete it's complete thank you press a and then press b to power off all right so we're going to take this ace card okay i'm going to put my original sd card back into it i'm so happy that finished i don't even know what number it stopped at i apologize okay we're going to turn on the nintendo um, 2DS here. Just going to turn on normal. And we're going all the way to the beginning. There's the ace card 2i. We're turning it on. And we're back. We're back to our regular ace card. Just fantastic. Let's turn on. heart gold here just to make sure heart gold plays I just want to make sure which it is <laughs> there we go perfect my ace card works. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Hopefully it uh, didn't bore you the last little bit. But anyways, I'm, I'm just glad everything is fully functional and everything is working. So <laughs> this is awesome. Super pumped. If the tutorial helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form, be sure to uh, press the like on the video. And uh, be sure to post your comments in the comment section below. Now again, uh, as I said, I will be doing some NTR streaming uh, tutorials. So that way you guys can uh, stream your actual consoles uh, to your PC and then get into the YouTube and Twitch uh, scene. So be sure to hit the sub button, guys. That way you guys always know when my videos go live. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.